Hey guys, welcome back to another video. This is Gabe with Indigo Software, genuine Microsoft software for less. In today's video, we're gonna be showing you guys how to install Microsoft Office from a .img file on Windows. Now, before we jump into this installation, if you're interested in purchasing Microsoft Office or a wide variety of other Microsoft software at a great price, check out Indigo Software, we'll put links down below. So without further ado, let's get started. All right, so we're making a video specific to this installation because there are some steps that are unique to this installation method. So if you find yourself needing to have a hard copy of the installation files for whatever reason, this would be a great way to get your installation file as you can easily copy this to USB drives or external drives for future installation use. Now we do have a couple of notes before we get started with the actual tutorial, just so you guys are aware. Now, the first thing we wanted to mention before doing any installation tutorial is that it is required and necessary that we completely uninstall any existing Office files from our computer first. And this includes Microsoft 365 applications that may come pre-installed on our system. Here's how to do that. As we can see, I just finished uninstalling mine and I've got the message that confirms that. But basically, we just hit Windows key and I together. We can navigate to apps and click installed apps. And then here we're going to look for Microsoft Office. So we'll scroll down to the M's where it says Microsoft. And then as we can see here, we still actually have Microsoft Office Professional Plus 2021. We're going to right click the three dots and we'll click uninstall. We'll hit it again to confirm and we'll click yes on the pop up. Go ahead and click uninstall when the office thing pops up. All right, so I just got the message that this is done uninstalling. So we'll go ahead and click close. Now, before we run into the next steps, we wanted to quickly just brief you guys with what the next steps are gonna be. So the next thing that we have to do is we have to register our product key via the Microsoft website. Now, in order to get our .img download file, that is gonna come from wherever you purchased Office. If you purchase Office from Indigo Software and elect for the .img installation method, we'll provide you with a direct download link for this file. Now, if you purchased it from another third party or from Microsoft, follow their instructions for how to get this file. Follow their instructions for how to download this file. All right, with that out of the way, we'll move on to the web browser for the next step. Now we're gonna quickly run through how to do this, although we do have videos specifically covering this part of the process, and we'll link one right here. All right, so we're gonna go to setup.office.com. If you haven't been to this page in a while, it is a little bit different than usual, so just be mindful of that. As we can see, it says enter your product key. Again, this is assuming that you've already purchased Office, and if you haven't, head down to that description box where you can find Office at a great price from Indigo Software. All right, so here you would enter your product key, you would follow the remaining prompts, which would tie this to whatever Microsoft account you sign in with, and that is an important detail to remember. So ensure that whatever Microsoft account you want this Office software to be associated with is the one that you sign in with or create for this installation. Once you do this and follow the prompts, you can come back to this video and we'll move on to the next step. All right, guys, so now that we have covered all of those prerequisites and necessary first steps, it's now time to actually proceed with the installation. I have my IMG file right here, just to show you guys in the properties, this is pro plus 21 retail.img disk image file. Uh, so we'll just go ahead and double click this to mount it. On this pop-up, select open and Again, only do this if you're purchasing this software from a reputable retailer. And all we have to do from this point is to run the setup.exe, which is this little purple and blue logo at the bottom. We'll double click this. We're gonna click yes. And Office is doing the rest. So we're gonna let the applications install and then we'll cover the final steps for activation. Now, one thing that we wanted to make note of really quick while the installation here is wrapping up, Office keys are a one-time use, meaning they're valid for one computer. Now, what this means is that the reinstallation process is different than the process we just covered. If you want to see a specific video for how to reinstall Microsoft Office, click the link to this video right here. And if you're reinstalling from the image file itself, that process is also a little bit different. But the final reinstallation process when doing that would be to open one of your applications after install and sign into your relevant Microsoft account, which will activate the software. All right, so our installation is fully finished and all we have to do now is we're just gonna go ahead and open up Word or any of our other applications. I choose Word because it's 
kind of the most common office application. Once we're inside of Word, we click down to account on the very bottom left. Now you may be prompted to sign in if you haven't used office on your computer before. And if that's the case, just make sure you're signing in with the correct Microsoft email address associated with the license that you just purchased. We can see here we have a little button to change license. So we could always follow through with that prompt as well if something went wrong during the activation process. All right, and as a last little troubleshooting note for you guys, if you happen to forget or not know your email address associated with your product key, you can actually find that by going back to setup.office.com. You can punch in your product key there from any Microsoft email account, and it's gonna show you what account the product is actually registered to. All right, guys, so that's gonna do it for today's video. If you have any questions about any parts of that whole process, please drop those in the comment section below and we'll get back to you as soon as possible. Again, if you have yet to purchase Office or you're interested in a wide variety of other Microsoft software at a great price, check out Indigo Software. We'll put links down below. Lastly, we strongly encourage any video topic ideas that you may have for us, and we really appreciate you guys watching this video to the end. So thanks again for watching. We'll see you guys next time.